President of the Prison Officers Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Saron Richards, is calling for a fair and proper wage negotiation process. On Friday, members from the association joined those from the Fire Officers Association and other members from the various arms of the protective services to deliver a letter to the Chief Personnel Officer rejecting the 4% wage offer which covers the 2014 to 2019 period. The, the CPO is telling us, even within the, with, when discussions are ensuing and not all the issues are properly ventilated, as with regard to, for example, market survey and other areas that we need to properly and thoroughly and ventilated before we can arrive at some settlement, the CPO is telling us that he already has a final offer on the table, which is 4%. Meanwhile, President General of the Joint Trade Union Movement, Ansel Roger, stands in solidarity with the Protective Services to reject the CPO's offer. He made the announcement while several members of the Protective Services staged a protest outside of the CPO's office on Friday. We didn't hear anybody say anything when those uh, businessmen and the business community made hundreds of millions of dollars in profit. Nobody said anything about that. Nobody condemned that. But when those who turn the wheels of the economy, who do real work, ask for something that is fair and just, they are being condemned. As wage negotiations continue for public servants, one group, the Amalgamated Workers' Union, has accepted the CPO's offer of 4% for its members.